everybody. This is another video on um, how to prep lures, any old retro lures you have in your tackle box, you want to spring a bit more life into them. I've actually brought some new lures here, these are little Dexter wedges, and as much as I do like the chrome silver, I do actually do like to um, apply a little bit of fluorescent paint to maybe one of them, or maybe some old lures which maybe have been a little bit demoted down in the tackle box just to spring a little bit more life to them. I notice there's a lot of times I go bass fishing with lures that the water's very murky. And um, I'm a great believer that a bit of fluorescent paint um, can make your lures a bit more visible. Um, they're quite a bit of experience fishing abroad um, for sea run trout and um, salmon. And a lot of those fish take um, very bright fluorescent lures and um, I have been experimenting for the UK sea bass with these fluorescent colours and um, it's actually uh, been worked quite well. So there's some glitter spray there and um, that is some nail varnish um, sealer they I've got and this is some paint I've brought online, some oil based paint, fluorescent, bright fluorescent yellow, £2.50 for 100 millimetres, which I thought was pretty good. And I've got a pink one as well. And um, it's quite simple, it's a case of grabbing your old lures and just keep applying light coats until you um, get a real bright fluorescent sort of finish on it. And it hasn't got to be fantastic. Um, but there should be no reason, when you know the bass are there, there's no reason why you shouldn't be just fishing in quite really, really quite murky water because a lot of those lures there, they're repellers and um, they've got like ball bearings inside and they rattle and obviously with the um, the plug it wiggles a lot and same with the melons they wiggle a lot and the, the fish will you know they pick up on vibration but i just i just find to give as well as that if you if you get some fluorescent paint on there as well um so here we're just uh, just lightly applying it that's a rapala j9 i think that's why it's about 14 grand. So by the time you get a um, um, a swivel on the split ring at the front and then you put that paint on there, that might go up to like 15 grand. Doesn't make too much difference, but a lot of the, a lot of the fish are very close in anyway, usually. It's nice to have some so that's a 25 grand repeller. I think that's a J a J13, J13. And that, would you believe that's about 10 years old? And I barely, I barely use it. I've got a load of other gear, and I barely use it. So now that particular lure, the the, uh, the 25 gram, the big lure there, because of the um, the dish on the front of it, that's reasonably quite a deep dive, about a meter and a half, something like that. So on a shallow beach, you probably want to fish that up, you know, the the top half of the incoming tide, um, as where well the smaller lure, um, the J9, whatever it is. You, I want to be using that one when the water's low and low water. Do you know what I'm saying? Otherwise, you're going to start snipping the bottom. You can play around with the ends of the plugs. You can sand them down, but generally, I wouldn't play around with too much because Rapala, they would have already done the tank tests and everything, so you don't want to alter them too much. But you can do if you if you want to, and it's an old learner. You hell, you just want to, you just want to do it anyway. But yeah, this this paint is just you know I was just applying on, and um, like I say, I wasn't just coating it in a load of paint and just letting it set. I'm actually sort of doing a very light coat, a base coat, and then you let it let it dry and then you just you know put another coat on it. And I'm just experimenting with this because I didn't actually have a proper a real fine art paintbrush. I just I got a paintbrush I sort of snipped some of the, the brush off. But it, it wasn't ideal but it just done the job. I mean it hasn't been perfect. I mean I don't know if a lot of you guys are new to bass fishing, but there's a lot of plugs on the market nowadays. And I'll be honest with you, years ago, that was unheard of paying £25 for a lure like this. And that's how much some of them are from Japan. Don't get me wrong, they're works of art, they're brilliant, lovely colours. That's a lot of money. A lot of money. Ten years ago, this lure would have cost you about 10 quid. 10 or 12 quid, something like that. So you can see, you can see the how it's, you know, it's, it's changed. And I'll be brutally honest with you, it, your paint job, that ain't got to be 
perfection. I mean, when you when you're new to the sport, you know you think things you've got to be perfect all the time. You haven't with fishing. It isn't at all. You've got to be there or thereabouts. <laughs> but um, yeah, to make these lures work, you've got to fish them. You know, around a good stage of the tide when you think the fish are there. I mean, a lot of the times when I go lure fishing, I'm only going to be fishing for two hours and then I'm going to get in my car and go home because that's when I get. You know, so you can waste a lot of time. But once you once you know the times to um, to get them, you can sort of channel your energy at certain times of the day. Um, so yeah, so the lure on the very far left there, just near the television, that's a Yozuri. Now that is actually a, a 25 pound lure. However, I didn't pay that. But Glasgow Angling Centre, I see it advertised this January in the sales for 10 quid. And that lure there is, 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 is as good as any sort of modern Japanese lure. But what I'm gonna do with that is just add a bit of fluorescent pink to the underside. I'm not gonna play around with that one too much. But I am going to put some fluorescent pink, pink right on the belly on it. Um, but the, these lures, which I'm doing, these are these are to fish in um, water, which is um, it has clear water further out. So this is going to be June, July sort of time. But after a good blow, it can um, it can it can stir up. So it's all going to go turn up with, with your, your lures and your silver lures but sometimes you'll be fishing and you'll be thinking oh god it's not how I want it today it's a bit murky so these lures which I'm now doing these are to give you an advantage when um, the sea is murky now this stuff here is glitter now I've scraped that off a Christmas card and all I'm going to do I'm going to sprinkle it on a lure which is um you know, which is sort of, you know, drying, and you can just dab it in with your fingers, and then you use that nail, um, that nail um, top coat, just to go over the top of it, you see, and that just gives it a nice little, um, a nice little finish. Now, I, I got that from some lures I've brought before, that, uh, um, you know, a one-man band who makes lures, he sort of uses those, it's a little, little things you sort of, you, um, you learn from even lures that you, you go and buy. Um, so I've put the pink on and um, some nice hooks on that lure. That's a Dulce, Dulce 125 I think, like I say, you can get for a tenner from Glasgow Angling Centre. That's a nice little lure. I just find it just wants a little bit, um, wants brightening up a little bit. Now we're just sprinkling that on. And you notice I leave the eye exposed. I think that's, you know, might as well do that. But this is glint's just going on. Okay, this I don't know what it is, but there's something about hard lures and fish. It's um, it just gives off some real good vibration, and um, I actually I prefer them using soft plastics. Um, you know, fish they they you know they love they love going for hard lures, whether it's metals or hard plugs. I'd rather go. With, I'd rather fish with them any day of the week over over soft plastics. But you know, soft plastics with a lead head, they do work. You know, the fish fish are there. It's just a question of what you. It's a confidence thing. Lure fishing is a confidence thing. So here we go. We're sort of just I've got the glitter on there, and I'm just dabbing on that that nail top coat stuff. And I'll be honest with you, I, I've not used it before. But I just I tested it out. I always, if I'm not used something for, I'll always just test it out. And I put my, I put it, I dabbed it on the lure and let it set. And I'll be honest with you, that's like super glue. That's like absolute super glue. So as you'd imagine, that dust, that um, that glitter, you know, that's going to come flying off if you don't put some sort of sealer on there. Also, seals are painting as well. Paint. Um, you know, I've done it in several layers, but you know, if you're fishing a rockyish area, I generally fish beaches for bass, but I do generally sometimes go on um, some rocky areas. You'll, you'll get the odd, as you're aware, you, your lure will get chipped and it's like the paint comes, so you want to put some sort of sealer on it. And um, here they are, they're just drying by the window. And um, nice bit of sunlight today through the um, through the window there. And um, Obviously there's carpets in the house, so I'm just 
you know, just trying to do it. We're not out dropping anything or anything like that. It's up in super. Now the front bit of that lure, you notice I haven't done it because a I don't think you've got to be that precise and have 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 it all painted. Um, and also that's an area where I could just um, I could hold my thumb as I'm doing it. Do you know what I'm saying? And there's some nice chrome there as well. So it's like you hang, like I said, you, with these lures, you 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 know you ain't got to aim for perfection when you're doing them. Um, and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure these will these will catch in um, when the walk water is quite murky. Um, I do actually have some you know professional sort of done lures for that, but you know I mean this is just a Dexter wedge. This is a 21 gram Dexter wedge, and um, so. When you turn up and you think conditions are going to be exactly how you are lovely and clear, and I put on my lovely silver lure, you know, now I've actually got some different types of lure in my armory for, you know, for when there's when there's a sudden change, there's a sudden sort of suddenly getting caught caught out. You've got some gear, you know. Yes, you can just go and order them, but I mean, some of the ones on eBay there, there's a um, there's a company in Singapore. Um, I'm just trying to think of the name. It's called Lure Candy or Shim Reels. They have got fucking hundreds of them. Now I've ordered some poppers. I've ordered some poppers last year from from them. It took me about six or seven weeks to get hold of them. I know we've had the coronavirus and all that, but I've got them. Um, they're lures which have worked over, overseas. I have had bass on them here, but they're probably not as good as um, some of the lures you can buy. If, if you want a real good Popper. There's, um, there's a lure in the mold. It hasn't got to be this particular brand, but it's called the Pachenko. And um, I've had I've had some bass on a similar lure. And um, yeah, its action sort of induces. You know, if there's if there's if there's a, if there's a pot of fish there, um, you know, you're definitely you can get some really good sort of takes on it. And um, I've actually had my best fish um, on that style of lure, so there's something to do with the um, the design of it. Um, it's pretty, pretty fabulous, really. Um, but yeah, you see, you notice I'm just doing the underside on this one, and the um, the glitter is sort of set. And this is the smaller lure, and I've just put a little bit on top and a little bit underneath. Now, I've actually put some sellotape on that lure so the lines will be a lot straighter in the minute there it's all splodgy and shitty and so I've just actually put sellotape in a straight line but you'll see at the end the um, you know what we've actually done there and if you've got a bit of paint on the um, which looks a bit untidy around the ring around the split ring and you know you can scrape that off later and, and even if it's a, you know, it's a bit on there I mean obviously you've peeled the bits off the hooks a little bit any paint which is on there but you know, it hasn't got to be, you know, Japanese, you know, quality. Do you know what I'm saying? Your paint job, it doesn't matter. So yeah, you can see the glitter's loosely on there, so I'm just letting it dry a bit. Now, once the paint's set, I'm just going to push it in a bit, and then I'll put the top coat over the top. Um, you know, at the end of the day, I mean, it's like, um, you know, it's, try not to sort of, you know, teaching you how to suck eggs but it's you know it's, it's pretty common common sense really but you can see this one I've got the sellotape on it and I'm just doing a top edge and I'm really just mimicking um, other lures which have worked for me in the past so, so you can visualize that lure fishing in real murky water a bright fluorescent little bit of glitter probably doesn't make any difference at all um, and a bit of a, a fluorescent pink as well and the vibration of the actual plug. So if there's any bass, sort of, you know, they, sh they should be able to pick it up. Um, so that basically means is that, you know, if you're early in the season, when primarily the sea is always, you know, cracked up from, you know, all along the, the UK coast, apart from Cornwall, um, you know, you might, you might be able to, um, you know, you can probably have a few sessions you know, and feel reasonably confident with the gear you've got. You can see, nice, nice, and nice, nice, nice colours for dark water. 
Um, this looks a lot better when I take the sellotape off because they've got straight lines where all that pink is. And um, I've got a little bit of um, paint on the ends of these hooks, which do actually um, smooth it nicely. I think they're bloody sharp. But I've just pulled them off, and those particular hooks there, they're a mustad. Um, some sort of mustard brand. They're a little bit too big. They're good for this lure, but they're a bit too big for my other ones. I'll have to get some more, I think. But um, razor sharp. Actually, razor sharp hooks, and you've got to have razor sharp hooks. Um, so we're just putting that sealer on. And um, that's, it. that's the um, that's the Dulcie lure. 125, I think. And I was toying with the idea of putting fluorescent pink on top but I just thought well I think we'll just stick with the underside and see how we get on with that so we could fish that lure in murky water as well and that's funny because last season I did pick up one or two bass when I turned up because I didn't have any fluorescent lures when I turned up all the bass which I did get when it was murky were right at range of where the water um, it changed its clarity it was starting to change in slightly lighter water and that was just on a straight chrome so but a lot of the bass oh you know within 30 yards you know they're within a sort of a, a chuck and any of these lures should really get them really to be quite honest but here here we go this is sort of the um, the end product so to speak so i've just now going to gently peel off the um the sellotape glitter's embalmed inside the, um, the, um, the paint and the sealer. Not much actually came off with the sellotape. A little bit came off but not a lot. So I'm confident that would um, be you know be okay when you're using it in the sea. Or if you're freshwater fishing for something. Pike would take these. You can see it's a lot straighter and straighter line there. It's not perfect, but I don't need to be perfect. And it saved me about 25 quid. And this is an old lure which was living in my tackle box, um, which wasn't just getting used. You know, Rapala J9, about 14 grand, that's about 15 grand there now. So when the water's mucky, I might just scrape off around the, around the ring there, I might just sort of scrape off a little bit of paint, but you know, bright fluorescent. You know, it's um, you know, that should pick them off. You've got a swivel on the front there. You can change the hooks if you want. This is the J. This is the J13. You can play around the bit, but I'm not going to bother. I'm going to fish this this lure at high water. There's plenty of depth there. That goes down a bit more. There you go. Look. Right for rest. I mean, it doesn't actually look that bright there, but uh, trust me, that is there. That's a bit better. So there you go, chaps. Yeah, we'll just take the paint off this one as well. For some reason, the camera wouldn't go into uh, full focus on there. I think it's focusing on the drummer on the telly. Um, but that's it. That's all it is. I'll just find a bit of red or a bit of pink on the top of a already fluorescent blue. That is, a, that's a good combination. White is another good colour if you if you're stuck for colours white and um, a little bit more so anyway guys all right i appreciate you watching the video i hope you watched all of it um, but if you can please subscribe to my channel i'll be much appreciated um, videos is just going to con keep continuing so i've got hundreds and hundreds of little ideas um, okay thanks for watching guys and i will see you soon cheers